today we're here with our first video on YouTube. I'm looking with seafood. Or it has any seafood in. I don't really like seafood like that, y'all. So I didn't get no crab legs. I got calamari with shrimp. Something different. Let's take a look at the calamari. You cannot see. When I pull it out the bag, okay, get it. They're gonna see All better. Right. When I pull it out the bag. So we got a few questions. And you know, comment if you want better questions than this or better answers than this. Let me just get my food over first. Let me get my oh uh, my bed because I will mess up my clothes. I haven't had this in. I got lemon pepper sauce. I got I crab legs, clusters, with some shrimp and garlic sauce. <laughs> well, okay. And this place was hooking real in Athens. Yeah, okay. Oh, we live in Athens. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have the is open. Oh, I also have some noodles that I made. She was crying hard while she was uh -huh. taking 30 minutes to film. Oh, okay. Here you have to take me though. What, what is this? Is this my cal? Okay, y'all. Yes. Is this how the calamari looks, y'all? <laughs> okay, I'm not. Y'all not gonna be able to see it good. You ain't got no paper towels. But it looks. Y'all. It's okay. You like it? I like fried calamari better. But this is pretty cool, okay. Mm. It'll do. Okay. Better than some crab legs. First question basic information. So introduce yourself. Maybe I should put this on here. No. I think I need a fork or something. Okay. So like I said, I'm Mariah. I'm 21. Um, I'm a pre-med student at UGA. That's what I mean. I'm a Sagittarius. My birthday is December 4th. And that's a little bit about me. I'm Asia. I'm 20. I'm a tourist. My birthday is May 12th. I'm also pre med at UGA. So I'm a criminal justice major. And she's graduating, y'all. Yes. She's graduating. <laughs> okay. How do we meet? Um, in sixth grade? Right? Yeah, in sixth grade. Whose class we had first? I feel like we had every class together since grade. Did. We, had, we had English first with that lady. No, we had one class that wasn't together. I didn't have oh. English first. I had science first. Then we had Miss Puckett together. Miss Puckett it was, was our second class? period. I don't. That know. video with me, you, and Christina was in Miss Puckett's class. That was in Miss Sunny's class. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm getting one confused. Miss Miss Puckett, Miss Sunny was sixth grade. Sunny was seventh grade. Oh. No, oh. he wasn't Miss Puckett's class with me because I remember when Aiden came. I don't know. He was a baby. <laughs> I remember your dad came with Aiden. He was a baby. I remember okay. that. He was we had most of our class together. Moral of the story. Yeah. But, I mean, I came to school. I didn't have no friends. No, I met you. I walked up to you and Aria in, like, the gym. I was like, hey, my name is Asia. What's y'all's name? <laughs> That's how I met y'all. And then we just ended up having a class together. I was forced to meet people. I didn't know nobody at that school. No friends. I mean, it was nice. <laughs> she was so fake, y'all. Oh crap. She was fake to us. I still wanted my back, my old friends from uh elementary school. It's all right. Yeah, so Christina is also our roommate. Oh, I hear my foot. Yeah, we'll be seeing her soon. Soon. Very soon. Christina. But I also met her. Mariah and Christina didn't know each other either because they went to different elementary schools. Yeah. All three of us went to different elementary schools and just came from middle school. And then was the same high school. My parents can be like, I can't believe you ate this Mariah. They gonna be I can't believe it either. This girl act like you cook some seafood in the apartment. It's disgusting. I can do some fish. I can do some shrimp. It just depends. And I love calamari. But crab legs, lobster, crawfish, scallop, like I'm not feeling that at all. 
I love all seafood. I eat anything. I eat any type of seafood. I don't know what I want to eat. Really nothing. I eat everything. I like my favorite is probably oysters. Do you want some crab no, legs? No, I don't. I'm about to you crack them. Oysters are probably my favorite. And like crab legs. These kind of small though. Next question. Why do we choose UGA? Um, it was honestly between UGA or Florida State. I think for all of us. Yeah. For all three of us, it was UGA or Florida State. Um, I think we all chose UGA for the same reasons. Yeah. It was close. We got Hope Brazil. And we kind of wanted like the big school feel. Yeah. Yeah, we all wanted the big school. <laughs> yes, it was close. Yeah, we only live like an hour and a half, hour and a half away from home, so it's not too bad. And he does a good school, so it just made sense for us to come here. Honestly, and it's not that expensive because we're in state. Yeah, and Hope Brazil. Don't really pay too much. Florida State also had like a week. Not a week. Um, we'd have been paying more to go there. Basically, the scholarship wasn't really going to make much of a difference because we was out of state. And it's four hours away. I wouldn't be able to do that. Do four hours away. I wouldn't be able to do that. Mm -mm. Asking, do we like it? I like it here. It's just a little hard. Yeah. But like any college would be, I guess. But UGA is something different. <laughs> I like it for the most part. I like just said it's kind of hard, but I like it. I like the vibes. I like the campus. Yeah. Our time here, we we lived in the dorms for like two years, so we lived together all three years, and we moved off campus this past year. But campus was fun, honestly. We just stayed close. Didn't make too many friends. And then COVID happened, so yeah, we moved back home. That kind of. I feel like our um, freshman year, we was actually kind of starting to really yeah, go out was, more, we talk out. more. And it COVID was happened. To make friends. We did try to make friends. COVID happened. It was over. And honestly, there. we got sent home. We could see each other at home. Yeah, because so we, we came back. Yeah, we all lived maybe ten minutes apart from each other. So. Yeah, and I think also because we came to school together, we wasn't really trying to make a whole bunch of friends. We didn't really care to. Yeah, we had each other. Yeah, we didn't have to. So when we do go out, it's just the three of us. I mean, we speak to people. Yeah. We got people we cool with. Yeah. But not really too much of right. hanging out. Yeah. It's just us. Five years after college. Ten years after college. Ten years after college. How old I'm be? 31? Yeah, ten years after college. I plan by that time to be a dermatologist. Living in Atlanta, probably. Rich, rich, rich. <laughs> <laughs> on beaches. I'm just going to be on the beach all the time. But yeah, dermatologist, finally living the life I dream. Husband, kids. By that time, I'll probably be starting to have kids. I'll probably have my first child by that time. Husband, yes, I'm going to be married again in the next five years. <laughs> five years, that's 26. I thought you were going to say the next two years. Yeah, no, I was going to say five years, that's like 26. Next five years, I plan to be married, probably not have kids until I'm like, maybe, maybe 20, 29, maybe 28. That's a stretch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in 10 years, I'm going to be an OBGYN. 
I think I just want to be like a penthouse in the city type of girl right now. I think I'm going to be the rich auntie. <laughs> Living the rich auntie life. Um, I just see myself just being close to my family and friends, traveling, spending time with my family and friends, um, doing fun stuff, enjoying life, being at peace, doing what I want to do when I want to do it. And that's about it. Eating good. <laughs> Eating good. That's it. Hmm. And of course, praising God. Oh, my back hurt. Mm. 31. You need to get a penthouse or a house? I think I want to live in a penthouse, but I also want a house. I mean, you can have both, but you don't. You might not need that. That's what I'm saying. If you fake not having kids. So. <laughs> fake. You might I not just need a house. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a house. That's hmm. the vibes I want. Okay. The milk was good. Do you want some? I don't know. Very good. Can I taste the camera? Is it rubbery? That's true. What do you mean? Taste it. Mm -hmm. I don't see There's one not. right there. She's not gonna like it. No. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't this like that. Y'all. I mean, fried is better, but this will do. I don't like that. So what's your go-to hairstyle? My go-to? Mm -hmm. My go-to hairstyle have to be straight, natural, straight. My go-to hairstyle is probably some females, like 25 females, or maybe like individuals. So now it's braids. That's my go-to. What was your favorite vacation you've taken? Hmm. I feel like in Jamaica, the excursions were really fun because we went zip lining and horseback riding in the water and stuff and ATV riding. Those are my favorite excursions, but that's not my favorite trip. My favorite trip? Oh, no. I don't really know, y'all. Maybe Cancun. Mm -hmm. And maybe Orlando. This is Universal, so far. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. My favorite trip. I have two. Maybe I went to. Where did I go? <clears throat> I went to Cancun. Um, is it the sauce? I'm just done. getting tired of it. Let's get mad with it for the whole video. I went to Cancun this past November. I don't know if that's my favorite trip, but I feel like I was grown, so I could do everything. I could drink, you know. I could drink, so I had my fun because I was older. The other trip may be Jamaica. I wasn't as old, but I saw more. And I did more there. I stayed longer, so. Yeah, the Sarah trip cool. was fun too. The Sarah trip was fun. That was fun. I had fun. Y'all ain't nothing at the door. It's not our door. Sarah trip was fun. We really did stuff every day. Exactly. I had my fun. That trip was fun. California. That's probably my favorite trip. I took a trip to California on my birthday last year. And I was hiking, seeing animals and stuff. It was more like a nature trip, but it was really good. What would I need to be about? Um, are you still just gonna be about our life in general? Everything us, 
I'm gonna do vlogs, probably hair and makeup stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna incorporate like podcasts, girl talks, yeah. and having real conversations. I think I'm gonna do that. And just more looking into our life, friendship, yeah. lifestyle, beauty. That's really our focus. Y'all gonna come on every trip with us. Yeah, about to go on one. Yes. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. I don't know how that's gonna go. We'll talk a little bit about that again. Y'all yeah, go every trip with us. Every, I mean, little thing we do, photo shoots. I record some videos doing Lauren's hair, doing my hair. Some tutorials, I guess. And y'all gonna see our friends and family. Yeah. Basically. Oh, that's pretty much what our YouTube will be about. Y'all gonna love it here and then want to leave. <laughs> Oh, what made us start a YouTube? Hmm. Well, y'all, I watch YouTube. I watch, like, a couple of YouTube a lot. And it just seems fun. It's creative. It's just... I don't know. I think it'll be fun and something new. And I feel like it can open up a door for... Meeting new people and new opportunities, mm -hmm. too. I don't watch too much YouTube. I did watch YouTube mm -hmm. in high school. Who? I watched you hair tutorials. No, I never be watching hair tutorials like that. I watched when like the old Queen Channel when they all live together. Like oh, you watched that? Trey. Yeah, I, I used to watch that. that. I watched that when like. Chris and Queen live with our mind of Trey and Jazzy. Mm -hmm. That's who you two I watch. I didn't start watching Queen until after her and Chris. I started watching her once Chris cheated on her that last time. Mm -hmm. And then she left once in New York. That's when I started watching her. I watched Pimple Popper. Mm -hmm. Earwax removal. But like people, that was really the only people I used to watch. I watched our mind of Trey the most. I watched Chloe and her. Did you watch their singing videos? I, say. I watched their singing videos too. But I watched their YouTube. It was this other person I watched. I just, just can't remember his name. I used to watch Dear and Ken at the beginning. Then I eventually stopped when Prank started getting <laughs> too <Hey>. corny. <laughs> but yeah, I watched that. And here, I watch, I did watch here. <laughs> but not too much tutorial, but like people just talking while they're doing their hair and their makeup. But it wasn't a one person I was following. I just keep on watching stuff. Relationship deal breaker. Mm. <laughs> What's your deal breaker? <laughs> I feel like this question is just so complicated. It's a, I feel like I can't even think of all of them. Uh -huh. A deal breaker to me. This is me going based off my past relationship. What I can think of. First of all, I'll talk about the lying. The excessive lying, unnecessary. I, it's not going to work. I just, I can't do the lying. It, it's not I just feel like lying is just, and when you do it so much, it's just disrespectful. I feel yes. like you're trying me. Like I'm like, stupid. Like, I can't do the lying. Another one for me, I can't do someone. Oh, I don't say that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of people like to argue. They'll say stuff to get under your skin just to argue with you to get a reaction out of you. I can't be with nobody who do who does that. Because like you just want peace in your life. I'm not trying to argue and be crazy with you over nothing. And then you constantly like bring that out of me. I just feel like that's toxic, not healthy. And I, a deal breaker for me also, somebody who, like, when they're mad, they say stuff they don't mean out of anger consistently. Like, it's not a one time mm -hmm. thing. This is every time we have a disagreement or argument, you say something that you don't mean and trying to hurt me. And then you move on like it's all good. Like, you just didn't mm -hmm. say that. Nope. Wouldn't I do that again? Mm -mm. <clears throat> My deal breaker. He's a liar. 
Mm -hmm. uh. A liar. Another deal breaker I have. It may not be right, but all these friends. <laughs> I can't do a lot of friends. Not a lot of friends. I have friends too. But you know, like, there be friends that don't have boundaries. Like, if I'm talking to somebody, you're talking about him having opposite sex friends. Yes. The, but not too. I don't care if you have female friends. But you know, y'all ever had a situation where, like, a female friend ain't got no boundaries? Like, none of my male friends are FaceTiming me every day. They know I got a boyfriend. I might be with my boyfriend. Let's be talking about something. Or, hmm. I get what you're saying. You don't like that, bro, bro. Yeah, out the face. Too, too much. Always. Too much. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Mm. I don't like too much. Because every time this seemed to happen, something doesn't happen. I find out later, even after we broke up, I still get pissed off. Cause you try to play with me, but yeah, it's just probably not having too many friends, but having friends without boundaries. That's what it is. You have friends that don't got no boundaries. I don't like that. Another deal breaker. Um, I don't think there's really nothing else. Yeah, that's probably my top one. Let's, let's throw in a cheater. Definitely. Let's throw that in there. A cheater. I felt like I've been through my life with taking somebody back once in my life. I was a child. Do it really count? <laughs> Not really. I was in high school. So no. I won't do it again. I don't let it go. I'm going to bring it up. I know myself. I can't. I don't forgive people. Not for real. I kind of don't. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to just keep bringing it up. This is going to be hell for them. So I'd rather just keep myself away from that. Because mm -hmm. if I take you back, I'm going to bring that shit up at least twice a week. And I'm going to become a cheater. I don't like doing that to nobody. I don't like lying. So I'll become a liar. It's not good. At the end of the day, y'all... Just a genuine person. We just want a genuine person. Because yeah. if you genuine, it's going to show through your actions. And you wouldn't be out here lying and cheating. And that's just that. Or if you do want to cheat, just don't you know, be in a relationship. You can do what you want. To a certain extent. Honestly, let me not say that. People, everybody's situation different. But if you feel like you can't be with one person, just don't be with nobody. Have your people live your life. Are you dating anybody right now? <laughs> are you? Are you dating? I'm sorry, y'all. I can't take the five minutes of series. But now you guys, I'm single. I'm dating. How's that going? It's going good. That's about our dating life. I'm single. Yes. I'm dating. There you go. Break this food. Food. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. That's, that's a lot. I think that's a lot. For okay, 6.5 out of 10. You? <laughs> it's a 7 out of 10 for her. For me, mm, I've had better seafood. I also give it a 7 out of 10. And they only gave me one crab cluster for $19. No. <laughs> Thanks for watching MA Official. Tell Joe Byron right now. What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. Hey, yeah.